Hello everybody, welcome back to DKTR. My name is Darian, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Rode Video Micro to find out if this budget camera shotgun microphone is worth it. The Rode Video Micro is a compact on-camera microphone that comes equipped with a Rycott Lyre shock mount and a Rode dead cat. It is 80 millimeters long and only weighs 42 grams, or one and a half ounces. It has a single 3.5 millimeter audio jack on the back and has no battery. The power is supplied directly by the camera or recording device. It costs $69.99, however, it is frequently on sale, so click the link in the description below to check its current price. The microphone can be mounted to most cameras using a hot shoe. Line up the two squares and slowly slide it in. Then spin the dial until it is tight and secured to the camera. The microphone can also be attached to any boom arm that has a 3 8 inch screw adapter. Now we're going to test the audio quality of the Rode Video Micro. We're going to do this with the microphone both attached to the hot shoe of my camera and attached to a microphone mount much closer to my face, just to see how it compares. We're also going to compare this audio to that of the Fujifilm X-T4's inbuilt microphone, a HyperX Quadcast USB condenser microphone, and an iPhone's microphone. So let's get started. All right, so this is the audio quality test between the Rode Video Micro Fujifilm X-T4 HyperX Quadcast and the iPhone. So let's just see how they all compare. All right, so now we've got the Rode Video Micro with the dead cat now placed on top of it to see if the dead cat is able to filter out all of the background noise and static that we had without it. All right, so now we're doing a test of the Rode Video Micro. I've now taken it out of the camera hot shoe and placed it onto a microphone boom arm. So it's a lot closer and hopefully the audio quality is a little bit clearer. All right, so this is the audio quality test between the Rode Video Micro Fujifilm X-T4 HyperX Quadcast and the iPhone, so let's just see how they all compare. Alright, so this is the audio quality test between the Rode Video Micro Fujifilm X-T4 HyperX Quadcast and the iPhone, so let's just see how they all compare. Alright, so this is the audio quality test between the Rode Video Micro Fujifilm X-T4 HyperX Quadcast and the iPhone, so let's just see how they all compare. So, in my opinion, the Rode Video Micro was definitely an improvement over the camera's inbuilt microphone and the iPhone microphone, but it still just can't compare to a USB condenser microphone like the HyperX Quadcast. The HyperX Quadcast was able to remove all of the background noise from my PC's fans, as well as filter out all plosives from my voice. The Rode Video Micro was unable to filter out any of the background noise from my PC's fans, no matter the configuration I had it, both with and without the dead cat, and both up close and far away. However, these two aren't very comparable. The HyperX Quadcast is a USB condenser microphone that is meant to be plugged into a computer, whereas the Rode Video Micro is meant to go into a camera and you're able to take it on the go. Now that we've listened to the Rode Video Micro, let's take a look at some of the pros and cons of it. Starting with the cons. The first con would have to be with the sag of the shock mount. When you have the microphone attached, the shock mount seems to sag quite a bit forwards, especially when you attach the dead cat as well. The second issue would have to be with the dead cat itself. The dead cat doesn't secure to the actual microphone, so it can slide up and down. The third issue would have to deal with the audio quality. The audio quality is decent, however, it's not perfect in any way. The next issue would have to deal with the fact that there is no built-in gain. The microphone isn't able to monitor gain levels, so you have to adjust that by yourself in post-production. The final issue would have to be the fact that this will drain your camera's battery life since it has no built-in battery and uses the camera to power it. Now let's talk about some of the pros. The first pro would have to deal with the price. This is a very affordable microphone that is great on a budget. The next would have to be the size and weight. This is a very lightweight microphone that you can easily take anywhere with you without having to worry about it being too heavy. The next positive would have to be the fact that this is a built-in adapter to attach it to a microphone mount so you can use it either mounted to a boom arm or attached to your camera's hot shoe. The next positive would have to be the dead cat included is actually very high quality and I can't see you getting a better one with a mic for this price point. The final positive would be the fact that you don't have to charge the battery of this, and it will use your camera's battery, but as you already know, this can be a negative. The Rode Video Micro is definitely a step up from your camera's inbuilt audio quality. However, it can't compare to that of a more expensive camera microphone like a Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, or a USB condenser microphone like a HyperX Quadcast or Blue Yeti, but it's not designed to. 
This is a budget microphone that's low cost and portability, makes it a great option to travel with, or if you just want to get started out and increase your microphone quality. Another competitive budget microphone that I would recommend looking into if you're not sure about the Rode Video Micro would be the Deity V-Mic D4, which offers very similar performance at a much lower cost. As always, a link to purchase anything seen or mentioned in this video can be found in the description down below. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been DKTR. Hope to see you all in the next one.